My name's Lenny Holden. I've lived in town all my life. Um, I've been on Parks and Rec. I've been a selectman. Uh, last year, the Parks and Rec Commission asked me if I'd be the chairman of the um, uh, Restoration Committee. Since then, we have uh, put it off a bid. We've got, uh, uh, we had a, a lot of qualified bidders. We chose Boccaccio Studios and uh, Natick as our, our, our um, conservator, the one that's doing all the work. Uh, right now, the, the fountain uh, was disassembled in April. It was um, wheel abraded. They used um, steel balls to get all the rust off. Uh, we had to have two sections, a bowl and a, a column that were missing. Uh, the stories that uh, it went over in the hurricane of 38. Other stories were that it was uh, some uh, seniors from uh, high school, the old high school, that blew it up. But nevertheless, we've had those uh, re-sculpted and recast. Everything now, uh, you can see behind me, with it's a new foundation. Uh, it went real deep. We're never going to have it tip over on us. The other uh, structure is the pump assembly. It's state of the art. It'll make sure it keeps enough water in there. Uh, the pieces, uh, some are at a studio in Canton, and um, there were uh, the missing pop pieces were uh, cast by uh, Wollaston um, Boundary, I guess it is, and right now. They are being uh, ready to be painted. It's uh, an epoxy paint. It um, it'll last uh, forever. We uh, just have to have a maintenance program yearly. They'll come out, check it over, touch up any of the the bronze uh, acumens, um and any any pits or anything like that. They'll take care of it. This one lasted uh, over a hundred years, and um, with the improvements that we've done, it, it, who knows how long it could last. Uh, this next Tuesday, September 1st, we'll be bringing all the pieces here and start to reassemble it. There's a big bowl, then a column, then a small, uh, medium-sized bowl, then the new column that was sculptured, and another bowl that was re-sculpted, and a top, and a new finial on the top. And hopefully it'll all come together and be running for uh, the start of our celebration on September 11th. Now, how long has this whole process taken overall? Well, it's been years we've been talking about it. Um, they, they brought me in, I think it was last fall, and um, we got a committee of five. Uh, Eric Sauna from Parks and Rec, Tim Kilduff, um, Jeff Ferber, and Stacy Spies. Um, and we've all been meeting, we were meeting, uh, made a selection of who was gonna do it. We've had a few meetings since then. We've worked with uh, town departments like the Historic District Commission, and the uh, town engineer. Um, we weren't sure about the color. We were gonna wait, wait until the last minute and just try to find something historical. But when uh, Jeff Picaccio took the uh, uh, bronze embellishments off, found the original color to be black. So we're gonna keep it historic and keep the uh, original black. And with the, the, the embellishments, the, the scroll work, uh, Jeff has restored the ones that were, uh, that are, that were existing and he's cast the other ones, and I think the aged bronze will just uh, pop out on the, the dark black background. <laughs> Parks and Rec, we are the, kind of the managers and custodians of the common itself. So when the idea came up to restore and refurbish the fountain, um, we helped coordinate along with the CPC committee, the trails committee, and the uh, town engineer. Pretty much a big collaboration among multi, multi town departments and committees. The fountain was here in a dilapidated state, half of it missing, and was more of an eyesore than an attraction. Part of our uh, idea was let's turn this fountain into what it was when it was installed in 1907 as the Kaplan Fountain restore it to its original greatness. And quite frankly, there had been many efforts over the years to do that, but they had all fallen just short of starting and getting it going. So we pulled everything together. We hired uh, historians and whatever to find out what it looked like. We put it out to bed and came up with uh, 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 a company that could do this. In fact, we had many companies bid on it that had the expertise to do it and 
here we are. The thing has been restored. It's being installed today. And we feel it will be the major attraction other than the gazebo of our time home. This has sort of been like a multi-year effort of trying to get the, the funding and the whole project going. Years ago, we initially uh, allocated the money to do research on it and what we thought was enough money to get the fountain done. And over the years, we found out it was going to cost a lot more. So it's been actually a couple of years in the, in the making and getting the uh, approved funding from CPC. We just think it's one of these things in the town where the money from, from historic was be, would be put to very good use and we're very pleased to participate in this. Getting the funding, this started almost 10 years ago with the initial funding. And uh, the final vote on the funding was about a year ago. And the, the idea was to get it done in time for this, for this celebration this year. And it uh, looks like we are right on target. One of the great things about the fountain being uh, completed during the 300th anniversary year is when everything is said and done after this year ends, the only standing remembrance of the 300th anniversary will be this fountain. There'll be a time capsule, will be buried, and no one will see it for a century, but for all intents and purposes, this will be the lasting tribute to our 300th anniversary.